Our Father in heaven, we are so grateful unto thee for everything you've done for us, Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your understanding. Thank you for the ministration of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you that we are equipped, O oh God, for your purpose. We are equipped, O oh God, to do your will in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be with us, O oh God, even as we reflect and pray through your word by the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Good morning, family. Yesterday, I led us to look at a particular scripture in Acts chapter 9. And I want us to begin this morning from that place, from the verse 15. From the verse 15. Maybe it is my personal experience, but over the years, I have to battle with um, so many things that I see as the negatives in my life. I have to battle with what people think about you, what people say about you. I don't know what you, you battle with from day to day regarding what God has called you to do. So in verse 15, I see the Lord standing and ignoring whatsoever. Ananias, the disciple or the apostle or the servant of God, had to say about Paul. Sometimes we battle with our inadequacies. Oh, you know, I am not ready. You know, I have not read the scripture enough. You know you people are the pastors, so you people are supposed to do it. But when you look through this scripture, Paul is, is three days in his conversion. When the Lord had encountered him, the Bible says he spent three days praying and fasting, expecting the Lord to, to show up, most importantly to, to restore his sight back unto him. And within that three days, he had already seen a vision that the Lord has sent a man called Ananias to come and pray for him so that he will receive his healing. I believe that our God is a fast-track God. He does not delay with his servants. Yes, in preparing the servant is a key thing. But looking at what actually took place in Saul's life, who became Paul, you see the speed at which God was going about and was ready to use him as his vessel. Yesterday I made mention of Luke chapter 9 and Luke chapter 10. In 9, the 12 were sent out. In 10, the 70 were sent out. And looking at the scripture, they just came, they gathered, and the Lord sent them out. But he sent them out with his authority. He sent them out with his power. He sent them out with his wisdom. He sent them out with his ability. He sent them out with his counsel. He sent them out with his word in their mouth. And the more I reflect over this scripture, the more I come to understand that all that God is seeking, a willing servant who will even say, yes, we are weak, but yes, sir, we come to you for you to strengthen us so that we can stand out there and be the voice you have ordained us to be. When they needed to learn how to pray, the, the Bible says when he had redrawn himself, they went and asked him, teach us how to pray. That was the kind of heart the men that Jesus had called, the kind of heart they saw. They saw their inadequacy, but yet still it did not remain there. 
they decided that we want to seek him so that he will teach us, so that we will be like him, so that we can pray like him, so that we can speak like him, so that we can love like him, so that we can do the things that he does on day to day basis. When they say with the demonic person, they came to him, how could you do it? And how can we do it? These are the people the Lord called. Men that were weak, but yesterday they were ready to go to him, for him to guide him, for him, for him to guide them, for him to show them the way they should go. And in verse 15, but the Lord said unto him, I pray that this morning the voice of the Lord will go ahead of you. And the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is my choosing vessel. He is a choosing vessel. He is a vessel myself I have selected. I saw his weakness, but I chose him. I saw his weakness, but I chose him. I saw that he cannot lay hands on the sick and the sick will be healed. But yes, so I chose him. My dear sister, my dear brother, the Lord sees your weakness. The Lord sees your inadequacies, inadequacies. But the Lord has chosen you today to become his voice. The Lord has chosen you today to become the vessel so that he has ordained you to be. And it is important you must see yourself that I am the chosen vessel of the Lord. And as you see yourself, you must declare unto yourself that the Lord, he has chosen me. I am the one the Lord has set apart for his purpose. I am the one the Lord has set apart that his voice will be heard unto this generation. I am the Lord that the Lord, I am the one that the Lord has set apart. That is counsel right from my home, right from my community, right from the community, wherever I find myself. I am that vessel that he has chosen. He has set apart for a purpose. Assuming, let me give us a practical example, something Things that sometimes frustrate us. You are preparing or already you are on your way to work. And your vessel, your, your, your vessel you will be using maybe to get to work will be your car. If your car breaks down along the line, do you leave the car there and not attend to it? If you are trying to start your car this morning, and probably the battery is weak. Will you say you will not look for a replacement of battery so that your car can be functional to get you to wherever you want to get to? The Lord sees your weakness. I say this morning to you. The Lord sees your fears. And the Lord is willing and ever ready to deal with it and to make sure that you keep on running. You become the voice that the Lord has ordained you to be. He sees it on day-to-day -day basis. Men can see that weakness, the unfunctioning car, that the battery may be causing it to stop or may not cause it to work. Men must see that. But the Lord our God is looking for a new battery to replace it. All that the Lord is looking for is a willing heart, a willing heart. One that is ready, one that will go to the Father and say, look at me, I am here. I am here present today. You can use me for your purpose. You can feel me. You can empower me. You can grace me that your will this day be done in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this morning, I want you to pray. I want you to, to pray. And this is how we're going to start it. You are going to make a bold declaration. I am the vessel of the Lord. I am the vessel of the Lord. I have been set apart for his purpose. And this day I step out there and I will not fail in carrying out his mandate and his purpose throughout this life. You want to declare to yourself, I am God's vessel. I am God's vessel. This evening.
evening, as I stand out there, mm. as I walk the streets of Togas, as I go to my office place, uh, every strength, every grace, mm. every ability I need this day, mm. Lord, I receive it, and I am fascinated. Mm. I am fascinated. Mm. When I step out there, my voice and your voice will be heard in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. Brethren, when the Lord stood before Gideon, he said, you are a mighty man of valor. Mm. But Gideon was facing his test uh, to the house he came from. I pray this day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that mm. every mindset that is not of God, uh, I pull it down. Uh, I bring it into the obedience uh, mm. of Christ Jesus. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, any mindset that limits me, I pull it down. Mm. Any mindset of God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, mm. that makes me look down upon myself, uh, I declare it tear down mm. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, that mindset that tells me, can you lay hands on the sick uh, mm. and the sick will recover, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, I declare it put down, I declare it down with uh, mm. By the power in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, the thoughts that are not conform uh, to the thoughts of the Lord, uh, mm. I overturn you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, and I declare that I am God's vessel, mm. ready to be used of the Lord this day, mm. ready to be used of the Lord, uh, that wherever I stand, uh, the grace of God in and through my life, uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, be made manifest. The grace of the Lord, Parakate. Lemnanta Barikato, Ruanta, Babra Nakate. Well, in this world, men that will go to Jesus Christ, uh, mm. and with humility they will say, Teach us how to pray. Kalu, Lebri Ikate, Lebron de Bakata, Ruanta Bababa. That somebody this morning will say, Lord, this day teach me how to speak. Uh. Mm. Lord, this day teach me how to go about your business. Uh. Lord, this day guide my heart. Uh. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, in the right place where I am supposed to be, Lord, guide my heart. Uh, Lord, guide me in every step of the way. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, brethren, they were ready to ask the Lord, teach us how to pray. But this day you will ask him, teach me how to speak, Lord. Teach me how to oppress the people. Calabron de Cate. Lebranda Cato. Rune Bricate. Teach me how to conduct myself in that office. Baroba Racate. Rwanda Baba. Lebranda Bron de Icata. Rapa Acate. Lebaba Rapa Rucate. Rwanda Baba. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Brethren, to appear before kings It's not something that is easy. To appear before a man. The men that have known you in a particular way, mm. it is not easy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, but this day you want to pray uh, that every obstacle, mm. anything that has held me back uh, over the years, over the months, over the weeks, uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, mm. I break loose from them in Jesus' name. Mm. Brother Paul was supposed to address the Gentiles. Paul was supposed to speak to kings, Calabo. Mm. And Paul was supposed to speak to Israel. Mm. You want to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm. The Lord Jesus, where you sent me to go, his own people were the people around him. Mm. Oh, the Gentiles, a man that uh, mm. he was supposed to move uh, from the community he finds himself uh, mm. onto another community, mm. a place of the. the mm, out of his comfort zone. He was supposed to move out of his comfort zone. You want to pray that every ability, every resources, every ability of the Lord for you to move and step into the place that he has ordained for you, you receive it, you draw upon it. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the people around you may know you to be somebody. Oh, you maybe you join them to say certain things. Mm. You join them to declare certain things. Uh, mm. And brother, my brother, my sister, mm. it will be difficult to break through, mm. to declare unto them the word of the Lord. Uh, mm. But you want to receive strength this day. Mm. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, mm. the people ask, uh, mm. it's so also among the prophet. Uh, mm. It means that uh, 
He became another person. Receive strength this day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive strength this day, Barabo. Remember on the Kate. Le Babara Kato Ruanda Baba. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rebabro Nebra Nakate. That you will reach out to your Gentiles. You will reach out to your king, sir. You will reach out to your own people. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This way the three people that Paul was supposed to minister to. His own people. The Gentiles and the king, sir. You want to declare that I will not fall short in my mission. Sin on earth. I will not force out that God there will be obstacles in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. But I will not force out that. But Rasi Kato Rwanda Baba Nikate. Lebrando Nanda Kata Rwanda Baba. Lebrini Kato Rwata Baba Kate. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is ready to fill you to the brim and even to the overflow. That is, we are his counsel. His purposes uh, will be carried out uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> but it was difficult. Even for the apostles to receive the ministration of Paul Kala. And sometimes, my dear ones, it is the same with us. Mm. The people will be unwilling mm. to receive our administration. Mm. It took Barnabas, mm. who held the hands of Paul, mm. and went and introduced him mm. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ mm. unto the apostles. Mm. It took the Barnabas mm. to guide him mm. unto the apostles. Mm. And he said, You can receive his ministry. Mm. I have been. And I know the things that he's declaring, uh, mm. they confirm the very things that Lord mm. taught us uh, and, uh, and guided us uh, into. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, I pray that your, your disadvantages, uh, mm. the Lord turn it to your own advantage. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It took Barabo a Barnabas. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, mm. that the Lord will send somebody away. Mm. The Lord will send somebody away. Mm. Who will hold your hands? Uh, who will stand with you? Mm. And will say it is possible. Mm. We can do this together. Mm. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, step out there. For there is another vessel mm. the Lord has prepared to ask you honor. There is another vessel. The Lord has prepared and says it is possible, it can be done, it can be accomplished, it can be carried out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and receive strength this morning and receive strength this day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But the Lord said unto him, I want to stress that again. Go thy way. For Caleb, for Joshua, for Reverend Osage, for the many others that are on this platform, they are a, a chosen vessel unto me. And this day they will speak, and this day their light will shine, and this day will be seen everywhere in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a go thy way, my baraka. The voice of the Lord go ahead of us. The voice of the Lord open doors unto us. The voice of the Lord bring us to the place. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as Peter was sent for by Cornelius, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in that your officer, may you be sent for. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in your family, may you be sent for. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in your business, may you be sent for as the voice of the Lord in that business. I want to encourage you. Open your mouth in faith and see the Lord declare his goodness in and through your mouth. Open your mouth to pray in simplicity and see the Lord honor his word over your life. Open 
in your mouth, Calabro Nekata, Lille Brigicate, and say to yourself, I can do it through Christ who strengthens me, and see him do that in and through your life, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for you are the chosen vessel of the Lord, and you will not fail in your mission and your purposes in this life, in the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stay blessed. Be strengthened. Go forth. Step out in faith and do the things that he has instructed us to do in simplicity. In simplicity. See him turn your weakness onto strength. See him turn your struggles onto victory. See him use you so mightily to carry out his purposes. Stay blessed, enjoy your day, and the Lord be with you, even as you step out there in faith. God bless you. God willing, this evening, will be at Bogus, and we will hit the streets. We will declare his word with boldness, and we will see the Lord touch the hearts of sons and daughters. Them that are backslided, them that have not known him, and them that are weak and need encouragement to stand in their place in Christ Jesus. Thank you. God bless you. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.